Hey, everybody. Welcome to a special episode of the WCPO High School Insider Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Dyer. We are here live at the Fairfield Chick-fil-A, 6305 South Gilmore Road, highlighting the Fairfield and Winton Woods football programs. This is the fifth of six special events previewing the high school football season around the greater Cincinnati and northern Kentucky Chick-fil-A restaurants. Before we get started, I do want to give a special shout-out to uh, operator Daryl Nelson for all the hospitality. Again, thank you to Daryl Nelson and the entire staff here at the Fairfield Chick-fil-A for the great welcome uh, returning here for a second straight season. And uh, we are ready to go here, ready to talk some high school football. Uh, I'm speaking with 15 coaches overall from around the area over these six special events. And uh, before we get started, again, just a reminder, this WCPO High School Insider Podcast is brought to you by Chick-fil-A, Greater Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Enjoy a free Chick-fil-A original chicken sandwich in the Chick-fil-A app August 21st through the 31st. And uh, please be uh, welcome in here, uh, Fairfield head coach Jason Krause, along with two of his seniors, senior quarterback Talon Fisher and senior linebacker Jojo Baker and Coach Krause. Thanks again for uh, doing this podcast episode. Always look forward to being here in Fairfield talking uh, some Fairfield Indians football. And uh, tell us a little bit about the summer and uh, what you like most about the team after a 7-4 and four record last season and uh, certainly a lot of optimism and a lot of camaraderie, as you told me, getting ready for this season. Well, obviously, first of all, thanks, Mike. You know, it's great to always uh, get together for this event. And you do a tremendous job. And thanks to Chick-fil-A. They've been a huge supporter, not just for this event, but – our league signing day, they've, they've been really good, and, and we love the fact that they want to be involved, and, and we love your involvement too, so thank you for all that. Um, summer, obviously, it's, it's at an end right now. You know, we're excited to get going, and uh, we got LaSalle Thursday and, and uh, week one next week, and we kind of talked about this bunch, and, you know, we came out off of last season, and, you know, we didn't get what we wanted to get accomplished. We didn't feel like with that team, and, you know, we, we really had some some heart to heart meetings in the off season with this senior bunch, and you know, we really talked about just becoming a tighter family unit as a, as a team. And and these guys, especially the two sitting here next to me, these guys were a big part of of that transformation with our our team, getting that family feel and playing hard for each other and and being there all the time and being accountable and being responsible and and uh, that's kind of what we feel like this team's all about. Very talented team, but on top of it all, I, I think they're going to go to bat for each other. As I mentioned, Fairfield 7-4 and four in 2022 opens the season August 18th at Huber Heights Wayne uh, before starting that nine-game GMC schedule. They host Sycamore on August 25th during week two. Uh, Coach, uh, tell us a little bit about maybe uh, on the field what we're going to see from your team and, and, and just offensively, defensively, some of the top players. Obviously, we're going to mention Talon and JoJo here in a second, but maybe some other players to look for as well. Well, I, I think, first of all, you're going to see a fast team. You know, one of the faster teams I think I've probably had in 27 years as a head coach. You know, we run very well. You know, we got a lot of skill back, um, good skill. You know, we got a couple of young receivers that have Division One offers right now. And obviously, the thing on the offensive side is led by the guy to my right here, Talon Fisher. You know, he led the conference in rushing last year as the quarterback, and, and he's developed as a passer each year. Uh, he's a four-year starter. You don't see that very often, especially in the GMC. But, you know, I, I think you're going to see a, a team with good team speed. Um, you know, we did graduate a lot of guys up front, but we really like the crew that we developed offensively as an offensive line. You know, we feel they're a little bit more athletic than last year's bunch, and uh, they run pretty well. So we, we do like that about this team. And, you know, defense side of the ball is going to be led by JoJo Baker, the guy at the end of the table here, and, you know, led our team in sacks last year and, and tackles. And, um, you know, he, he's the guy that's going to run the show in the middle. He'll be our Mike Backer, and, and you'll see us a little bit more uh, even and odd going back and forth between two fronts defensively, but really like our skill on the back end. And we're going to have to develop some guys up front, but uh, we're going to throw them in early, and, you know, we're going to see what happens against Wayne. Talon, I want to bring you in the conversation here. What, what, what do you like most about the team this preseason season? Coach kind of alluded to it, the family atmosphere, everybody being so close-knit. But uh, you being a four-year starter, you've seen uh, everything through this program. Uh, what is it about this team that uh, makes you go and, and that you really like as you get ready for the season opener? Um, the, comp the competitiveness. I mean, like, we just go out every day and we compete, and that's just what we love and like, how we grind each, each and every day. What has Fairfield football meant to you? Oh, everything. That's family right there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jojo, let me bring you in the conversation here defensively. Kind of, Coach alluded to you being the leader there at the Mike linebacker position. Uh, how do you think you've improved just from a year ago? Uh, improved heavily. Um, I had to pick up on leadership towards the end of the year, middle of the year, because I was the new guy coming in. Um, did pretty well with it, running the defense. And this year, they look up to me. You know, I, I, look, I, look, I look up to them. I think it's going to be great. Uh, you have a unique perspective, obviously, uh, being from a, another school and coming over to Fairfield. Uh, what's it been like to play uh, under the lights there at Fairfield Stadium? And, and, you know, just tell us about the experience so far. Beautiful atmosphere. Um, the tribe, they bring the energy every game. Um, just being there and, you know, new vibe and new atmosphere is just great. Coach, I want you to maybe talk about both of these guys. And, and one thing, you know, we, we've, we've heard a lot about talent. We hear four-year starter, the stats, the, the running and passing threat, the United States Naval Academy commitment, obviously uh, very significant. But uh, one thing you told me during practice this summer was he's the strongest guy in our weight room. Sure. And, and for the quarterback, you don't necessarily think of that every time, uh, you know, you go out to a high school football practice. But tell us a little bit about that work ethic from him. Well, you know, he eats weights. I mean, he, he loves the weight room. Um, and, and the competitiveness thing that he talked about, well, he puts that on himself every day in everything that he does, you know. And I think, you know, his parents have raised him to be a tough, hard worker. And, and he, you know, obviously exhibits that every single day in the weight room and just wants to be the best at everything he does. And I think it's a, a huge, you know, a huge relief for him to, to, to commit early, but just shows what kind of person he is that he chose to – the United States Naval Academy, you know, he thought of the big picture, you know, it was a 40-year a decision for him instead of just a four-year, and you try to explain that to young kids, and a lot of them don't think that way, but his maturity has come through in the last few years, and I think that shows a lot of it right there, just his competitiveness, his drive, his strength, and, you know, just making that decision. What type of growth have you seen from JoJo? Obviously, led the team in sacks a year ago, and just uh, him obviously being new to the team uh, a season ago. I mean, just how does he fit in with the program? Well, you know, when, when you get a new guy in, junior season, you always wonder how they're going to fit in. And um, I think he knew some of our kids coming in, so that helped a little bit. But obviously, again, a guy that wants to be great, a guy that works hard. He's another guy in the weight room that does everything you ask him to do. And, and it picked up our system really quickly and um, just has a great football mind. Um, and, you know, he just he, he wants to win. And, you know, so it's great to have guys that want to win and, and want to just fall in line with the program and, and believe in your culture. And, and you know, that, that was JoJo. He came in, and I think he was just looking for something special. And, and I, I think and I hope that he thinks he found it in Fairfield football. JoJo, your formal name is Jordan. Tell us how you got your nickname, JoJo. Uh, growing up, growing up uh, everybody has a nickname. My nickname was just stuck to JoJo for abbreviation. Um, I never really bothered with it. It was just something that got stuck by, and I like it. Cool. Tell us uh, maybe something uh, beyond football. Maybe people don't know about you that you'd like to share. Um, growing up, came from Hamilton, um, our rivalry. So that's my hometown. So playing there, it's, it's great. Every, it's, it's great. I mean, I can't even explain it. You know, just the the tension, the the atmosphere is great. You know, I, I know everybody. It's like playing backyard football. Brothers on both sides of the ball. It's just great. Talent, what about you? Obviously, everybody knows you as a Fairfield quarterback, but maybe something outside of the game or, or, or something that people don't know about you. Um, I'm, I'm a big sneakerhead. I love sneakers. Uh, you probably walk into my room, you'll see probably 50 pairs. Uh, it's just something I enjoy. It's something outside of football. Um, but at the end of the day, that's – it's my second passion. Football is my first passion. Yeah, gotcha. You told me you got a favorite pair of Jordans, right? What, uh, that again? The Jordan Fours. Yeah, okay, gotcha. for sure. All right. Well, Mike, I, I have to chime in because I've seen this guy buy shoes off a of kid's feet in the hallway <laughs> at school. Is that right? Yeah, I, I witnessed it. <laughs> wow, pretty powerful. You got a couple of new things going on in the program, Coach. Obviously, new field turf at Fairfield Stadium and uh, Fairfield Alumni Stadium and also uh, New Jersey. Tell us a little bit about that. Too. Well, the field turf is outstanding. You know, obviously, we, we played that on that turf for – 11 seasons so we got more than our fair share of wear out of that field and to get new turf uh number one it's beautiful obviously we went with a little bit different scheme you know we alternated the greens and some things but you know i, I jokingly believe it might have put four or five more years on my on my career and coaching just with the new surface you know and, and practicing on it every day and we're fortunate we do get to practice on it every single day our field house and our locker room is you know 30 yards from it and and uh, we've got a great setup, so that's exciting. 
obviously the guys get new new red uniforms, new home uniforms this year. We're excited about those. Uh, so yeah, a lot of new things in the program, and and obviously just kicking off another school year. We can't wait to that first home opener with uh, Sycamore coming in town. You're gonna not like me for mentioning this, but the 30 years overall. Uh, obviously, why do you still have a passion for coaching high school football? What is it about the game that you know? Get you going on a Friday night. Well, you know, I think I obviously you just I grew up around him. My dad was a head football coach, and and I grew up just loving the game of football. Played it, you know, high school, college, and just you know, I just always want to be around. I think it's a great thing, and and not just the sport itself, but what it asks you to do. Like, you know, the fact that you know, eleven guys got to be on page every single play to be successful. There's nothing else like it, you know, and that's just on offense. You need the same thing to happen on defense and special. So, you know, it just requires more out of our student athletes than, than anything else in the sports world, in my opinion, uh, to, to be successful. And I like that challenge, number one. And, and I think just being around the guys keeps me feeling young. You know, I, I'll be 52 this year. I kind of sometimes feel like it in the mornings physically. But I think mentally, you know, I don't feel like it at all. And it's from being around these guys every day. What's the biggest change you've seen from year one, you know, going to year 27? Probably the technology, obviously. You know, the fact that right now we can come off the field and we can watch the whole series on a sideline huddle replay on the, on the TV and make adjustments. And now we got the end zone view of that, the way we trade film. You know, I, I, I started back in the day, my first year as an assistant, I can remember trading VHS tapes pregame with a guy on the bench. So, do you guys know what you know, VHS tapes are, by the way? No, no right. yeah, that, that shows it right there. But, you know, I think technology is the biggest thing. Gotcha. All right, guys, we've had some serious football talk. Let, let's get your Chick fil A order of choice. We're going to start with JoJo here. If you're here at Chick fil A, what are you ordering? I'm a classic guy. You got to go to number one, but you got to substitute it with the mac and cheese. Oh, all right. Nice. Talon? Uh, I'd have to go with the eight count nugget meal. Uh, that's just me personally. I, I grew up eating McDonald's. So I know. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly around here. All right, coach. I, it's got to be spicy something. So spicy chicken sandwich. Very yep. good. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, senior linebacker JoJo Baker, senior quarterback Talon Fisher, and Fairfield head coach Jason Krause. Really appreciate your time and perspective. All the best of luck to Fairfield this season. Thanks, Thank Mike. You. Thank you, guys.